Moving forward, this is a critical time for us in Manitoba. We need to make necessary changes now uh, to bring these numbers down. You know, in the last 30 days, there's been 97 deaths related to COVID. 412 hospitalizations. We've had 818 cases linked to healthcare facilities, personal care homes, and correctional facilities. Things have definitely changed a lot for us in Manitoba. Today, we're announcing five additional deaths related to COVID-19. A female in her 40s from the Northern Health Region, a female in her 60s from Interlake Eastern, a gentleman in his 60s from Winnipeg Health Region, a female in her 80s from Winnipeg Health Region, and that's linked to Maple's long-term care. A male in his 80s from the Winnipeg Health Region. And uh, we'd like to extend our condolences to their families and loved ones. Our current five-day COVID-19 test positivity rate is 11.6. It's 12.2% in the Winnipeg Health Region, with 437 new cases of virus being identified as of 9.30 a.m. Uh, three cases were removed uh, from being out of province and a data correction, uh, and so the net new cases are 434, bringing our total case count in Manitoba to 10,216. I think it's clear that we need to bring these numbers down. Our healthcare system can't sustain numbers like this daily. We're seeing serious strain on the healthcare system. Hospitals are nearing capacity. We have over 30 people in ICU right now. Healthcare providers are doing their best for Manitobans, but are becoming overwhelmed. And I know these numbers are worrisome, scary to many Manitobans. But the issue is we know exactly what we need to do. We don't need to still figure things out. We don't need to wait on any studies. We know exactly right now what we can do to change these numbers. And we can say quite clearly that action is to stay home. Stay home. Socialize only with members of your household. Leave only for essential purposes. Uh, we can't be going out just for the sake of, of going out. It should be for essential reasons only. And this action we need to take right now to protect ourselves, our friends, the people around us, our community, Manitoba, healthcare workers. And that action is now. We have the strictest public health orders in place. We are more strict than we were in spring, and reasonably so, given our numbers compared to spring. The message is clear that we need to act right now. The public health orders, of course, can't speak to every possible eventuality in people's lives. So we need Manitobans to hear our messaging, which has been clear, to stay home, to socialize only with members of your household, leaving only for essential purposes. There are many examples of similar type of messaging in our lives that we always uh, follow. We might see a, a speed limit of 100 kilometers per hour, but certainly we adjust it given the conditions. We've messaged to send only one member out of your family to go shopping, and that doesn't appear in an order. This is public health advice, and it's important advice. So the messaging is clear, is to stay home and to socialize only with members of your own household. This weekend marks Diwali in the Hindu community. This festival is a time when people gather together to celebrate. It's clear that now is not that time. This is not the year to gather or to, to celebrate in a usual fashion. Please consider a virtual gathering but we cannot have people gathering right now outside 
of the household members. I know this is difficult, this has all been difficult for, for Manitobans and thinking back to those notes I mentioned, it's been difficult for quite some time. But we are at capacity in our healthcare centers. We need to act now. The messaging is crystal clear and that is to stay home as much as possible, leaving only for essential reasons, socializing only with members of your household. Uh, we've done this before in Manitoba. We've done this before in Manitoba without any orders specifically related to private gatherings. Now we have the most strict orders we've ever had in place here. But please, Manitobans, we're going to step up now. We're going to get these numbers down. Uh, and soon we'll be able to once again start loosening these, uh, uh, these restrictions over time.